Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this session, we want to discuss about how do we display a blob data in BIP report. I mean to say like uh, assuming that we have an image in the blob column of a SQL and nothing but in a database and we want to show them show the output dynamically. So now here if you observe right for a respective employee, I'm displaying the image. Of course, the column name doesn't make a significant thing, but here image ID is nothing but a person ID or assume that it's a person ID. So for this person ID, I'm displaying this image respectively and similarly like for other set of employees. So let us see the set of things which are involved behind us. The first thing is the data model. And let me show you that. So here, if you observe the data model and here, can you see the column type is blob and it's image ID and it is an image name. Okay, so the SQL query, just click on view. Now let me show you the query first, sorry. So here, if you observe, right, I just have a very simple query, which I'm getting the set of around 19 records, image name, image ID, as well as image from the per image table, nothing but the like uh, HRMS employee table, where we have the employee related images. Now we just see the data, I'll just click on view data. And just here, here if you observe, right, the blob content, which is a, like a binary data, and which you may not see any information when you run the content in the, what do you call from the from the BIP data view option. Okay, so then what, what we have to do is just need to download. You just download the content and you can just open the content here if you observe in my case, this is how the content will be. So the next step is just simply design the template. Okay, now I'll just design a template. So here I'll just say RTF template. VIP image sample TMPL2. Okay, save it. Now, the next thing is click on BI publisher sample XML. Now, load the XML data which we have downloaded just now. Okay, next thing is insert table wizard. Go with the table wizard. Next, next, select all the columns. Next, and finish. Okay, now just click on preview, PDF preview. Okay, so now here, if you observe, right, it shows the same dynamic content. I mean, to say like the, it just simply shows a binary text, I mean to say. It is not actually showing the image, right? It is just simply showing the, the content which was there in the XML. But what we have to do is we need to convert that into a particular image. So for that, like a BIP has provided a syntax. So let me show you that. So this is a very single line of syntax we have to follow for this one. So here, if you observe, right, input stream for an object, we just need to mention what is the conversion you have to follow, like the stream content you want to convert to image that happens automatically in the BIP. So we don't need try to we did we don't need to convert them into a particular thing or we doesn't need to write any technical functionality here. Just copy this content here. Okay. So here while there are some sort of syntax for this one. So here, if you observe, right, height is called like three inches, and you know, like uh, we mentioned, like this, right. So if at all, if you want to have in a pixel, you can mention, you can percentage, you can mention, right. So now let us say I want to mention this in a ten inches, and this also into ten inches, okay. And here we have to mention the image element. So in which column we have the blob data? So in our case, the image content was available in the image. The image blob was available in the tag image. So I'll just mention that. You copy this and here in this image tag, right? Just select this one, select this one, click on tools, field browser, click on this image tag and just replace here. This is one of the easiest way to replace the column tag, okay? Now click on update and close. Now it's almost ready. Just click on update. So we are able to see the content, right? Of course, the size could be a different one, right? So here, if you observe, okay. So this is how it will observe. Now, once the template is ready, what we can do, we can simply upload the template to our instance. Like let us say in the earlier one, right? So I have the image property with a little bit different. I'll let me show you that also. So this is my old template. I'll just select this one, select this one. BI publisher, 
tools field browser just see the image property so the property here the difference was i have used i was the pixel one 30 pixel and 40 pixel earlier i have used 30 40 pixel and now i've just changed it to 10 inches and 10 inches that's why the display was a little bit different okay so now i'll just upload the latest template so what i'll do is i'll just click on edit report now i'll just click on add new layout upload Upload the latest template, layout name, RTF, English. Okay, you save it. And let us say based on the default option, but let us say the second template, I want to show it as a default, I'll select this one, okay. And I want the output as a PDF, I'll select this one and just save it, click on view report. Okay, now by default, the second layout will be displayed okay so this is the first image and second image respectively third image like this and if you see the old template it's a very small one like where i want displaying the data in a very small image content you just need to change the template there isn't doesn't need to change anything in that query you just need to change your template and this particular input stream property you can mention in the pixel inches or you know like uh, you can mention the percentage also the three ways you can mention inches pixel as well as percentage okay so this is all about displaying the blob image dynamically in the bi report thank you